Now the knees have to go wherever the toes go. So we teach it with the toes slightly out, about 30 degrees. So I want you guys to get into that position. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Now when you go down, I want you to actively just press the knees so they're in line with the toes. Okay, ready? I'm going to watch one person again, same thing, and down. Nice, Thomas. Now you guys are at the bottom, pin that big toe down for me, yes. Good. Knees a little bit more, Courtney. Knees more, Caitlin. Much better, Kimberly. Knees out, Janelle, and stand. Good. Now don't move your feet, Kim. Kim might be having a hard time here pushing the knees out because she's got the Charlie Chaplin going on, which I have sometimes too. So if you guys all do this for me, okay, and I want you to just slowly squat and try to align your knee over your toe. Ready? You feel how that kind of gets a little blocked in the hips? Some of you guys actually might feel better, but what I'm going to ask Kim to do is keep her toes exactly where they are. So Kim, you look like this, and all I want her to do is slightly bring the heels out. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to ask her to do is pin that big toe down, and all the rest of you guys, pin your big toe down. Take your finger and do this. Pin it down. Now when you squat, you're going to push your butt back and down, knees come out, but the big toe can't come up. You ready? And down. Beautiful. That's it, Kim. Big chest for me. Now press out against my hands. A little bit harder. Good girl. And stand. Beautiful. And again, and down. Keep pressing out against my hands. Really hard, Kim. Harder, harder, harder. More, girl. Good girl. And stand. Awesome. Relax. So what we're doing is getting a little bit more surface area with the feet. Because you ever heard the coach say knees out and it puts you into this position? That's not necessarily a, a good position. It could be, but chances are you're going to need that foot flat. Now what I did over here with Kim is... I put my foot up against hers so she couldn't do the Charlie Chaplin or the Penguin because you've got a bit of tight hips in there, Kim. And it gave us something to actually push against. So I'm going to do it again with Kim and I just want you guys to watch. And Janelle, can you block her in the other side there? So now she's going to press against my foot, pin her toe down, but actively press her knees out as hard as she can. And down. Beautiful. Yeah, a little lower for me. Now press really hard, really hard, harder, harder. And the other side, and the other side. That's it. Good and stand. Is that better than she had before for you, Adrian? Because I know you might have seen a little bit from that side. Yeah, so let's do that again. Ready? Now we're going to be like, it's like chains and whips and bands here. Ready? And down. Beautiful. That's it. Get a little lower. Now back in those heels. Now press your knees out. Harder, 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 harder. Is that better? Yeah, and stand. So sometimes when we... Create, uh, create one thing, we create faults elsewhere. But I'm really happy with what Kimberly's doing. I've given her some tactile feedback, whether it be my hands pressing her knees in, a band, my foot, whether she blocks her feet in with plates. She's getting immediate feedback.